everybody. Welcome to TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee. And it's me, Banshee, with my Material Matters segment, your weekly tarot keys to success in business, education, and finance. Welcome to the show. Today, we're going to start off with a card for the collector from just the Moonology Oracle Cards and Guidebook. by Yasmin Boland. We do have some lunar activity this week, so let's go. Ah, well, this is the new moon uh, in Leo. And it says, confidence is your key to success. New moon in, whoopsie, just passed it. Confidence is your key to success. This card heralds the start of a new cycle for you when you're going to look and feel more gorgeous, more in the spotlight, more like you have something worth showing off. If you want someone else's attention, the card says it's coming. However, this may not happen all by itself. You have to be willing to do your part. That means being proud of who you are and what you have to offer. Think of yourself as the king or queen of the jungle and carry yourself accordingly. This card is also a great omen if you're asking about a creative project you're working on. Alternatively, it can herald good news or a new start for your children. Make time to have fun. Additional meanings for the card could be, it's time for you to show the world what you've got, shine your light, have some pride. Spoil yourself. You've earned it. You've turned someone's head. Well, it's very interesting to me because, you know, when they said to be the king or queen of the jungle, seeing this card with the confidence, I immediately thought of the king or queen, particularly the queen of wands, because it says to shine. And the queen of wands certainly knows how to do that. And um, this is like great for starting creative projects, so fresh growth. Uh, maybe this is good for the financial sector. Maybe some of you will be starting new jobs. Maybe for those of you in the creative arts and industries, we'll be seeing an uptick. And this is a time to really show people what you got. All right. That's what I have for the collective. Now on to the readings for each individual sign of the zodiac. Except, let's look at what's going on astrologically in the week ahead. We do have one important thing of note. Okay. First off, this reading for the um, astrological signs of the zodiac is from a Sunday, March 24th through Saturday, March 30th. The moon during that time will be transiting from Virgo into Libra on Sunday the 24th and marching its way to Sagittarius on the 30th. The full moon has a lunar eclipse in Libra on March 25th. That's Monday, March 25th, big day. Uh, and that's really all I've got astrologically. The rest seems to be all Catholic holidays. We have Palm Sunday on March 24th. We have Holy Thursday on March 28th. I believe that's the Last Supper, right? And Good Friday is on March 29th, ending with Holy Saturday on March 30th. For all the Catholics out there, this is an important time of the year for them. All right, let's move on. I don't have a lot of economic news except... The stock market has been really hot, and it has to do with, I think, the interest rates holding firm. I don't think there was a raise in interest rates, and so the stock market responded affirmatively. And uh, so maybe some of the stocks that have been suffering some losses have 
done a bit of a rebound. All right, let's see what's going on out there for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for us, and by the way, it's Aries season. <laughs> I'm so excited. My birthday season is upon us. You'll be hearing a lot of that in the weeks ahead. Because, of course, my birthday is at the very end of Aries, so I'm going to celebrate the month long. All right. Mr. O is yawning. Okay, Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what's going on in your material world for the week ahead. Good way to start, Aries. I like it already. It's the Fool Upright. But then we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is reversed. Now we have the Seven of Cups reversed. Interesting reading here. So it looks as though it looks as though there's some emotional turbulence going on here. And it may have to do, Aries, uh, with whether or not you should take a risk, if this is the right, appropriate time to do so. Um, you're going to make a choice, you're going to make a decision, and you're going to have to live with the results. But I have to say, you're kind of emotionally... Um, insecure about this one. So, you know, be careful here. If you're taking a risk, a gamble, especially, you know, if you're leaving, uh, if, you, if you're going to accept an offer for a job or you're deciding to quit your job just because you're done and you're hoping you're just going to find something else, be sure this risk is, you know, this is the right time for you to take it. That's what I would say, because it does seem as though emotionally you're not all in on this, but I think you've made the decision to go ahead with it. So just, uh, you know, you should try to be all in if you're going to take a risk, Aries. Or maybe you should hold off and reconsider. And that goes for financial transactions as well. You know, Mercury is going to be going retrograde in about a week now. So uh, let's all be careful of the decisions we're making because it's in the shadow phase now. Hey, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. This reading's for you for the week ahead. Well, you've got the Eight of Cups reverse, Taurus. You've got the star upright, right in the middle here. And you've got the King of Swords reversed. Hmm. Okay. You know, it seems to me that there's a lot going forward for you right now. There's a lot of optimism. There's a lot of hope. And yet, for the future, and yet, it seems to me you might be struggling with the decision here to remain where you are or to move forward towards in pursuit of what you really, truly desire, whether it's career-wise or financially. There's There's something holding you back here. You almost don't want to go. Maybe there's some loose ends you need to take care of first before you can move on, you feel. Maybe you feel you are not finished with whatever it is, whatever situation you're in right now, and it's stopping you from making the decision to move forward. This might not be a good idea. I have a feeling here your destiny is waiting for you to catch up with it. You know, so you need to get back on track here and think about moving forward instead of going backwards. All right. Hey, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. You are my rising sign.
okay Let's see what we have for you ah we have the queen of swords upright for you okay gemini uh oh the two of cups is reversed And the Six of Cups is reversed. It's really interesting to me here, Gemini. It looks as though you may have a real heavy decision to make. And it may involve parting ways with something. Parting ways with, uh, you know, certain investments, maybe divesting from things that you have. Parting ways with partnerships or maybe a job or uh, maybe an educational institution that you're in. You're making this decision to move. And I have to say, I don't know when I see that Six of Cups at the end of this reading here, I'm not thinking so much of the past per se, but what I'm thinking is that once you make this decision to move on, there may be no going back. There may be no going back. And it might be also that you are making this decision because of a troubled past. You know, things just have not been going well for you in the situation that you're in, financial, career, or educationally, and you may want to move on to other things. Weighty decision for you guys. Good luck with that. All right. Hey, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This reading's for you for the week ahead. Okay, more. Let's see what we have for you. You got the Four of Pentacles reversed, Cancerians. You got the Chariot upright. Got the Three of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Interesting here. Definitely looks financial in a way, um, but or business because of course the Three of Pentacles is working with the team. I almost think here that you're ready to let go of something, um, something of value to you. You know, it could be a job, it could be some investments, it could be maybe you're divesting, or maybe you're pulling some funds out for your own use here. Definitely, you are on the move here. This is this is like a sign to me that you're moving forward th with this decision to divest yourself from something maybe that's no longer needed no longer valued by you or you feel it's matured and you know it's time to pull it out um or pull away this may cause some uh rifts uh between you and some people that you're working with this could cause some disruption uh maybe some people don't think this is a very good idea and are kind of uh, against you on this, opposing you on this. Everybody needs to be on the same page if this involves more than just you. Let's say you're making some decisions about, oh, I don't know, laying off or cutting back, you know, some of your business expenses, etc. Or selling out something, selling out your shares of a business, uh, getting out of a partnership, whatever. This is something that will affect others. So you really need to move, you know, and think well about, you know, trying to pull both, all sides together on this. Okay. As you move forward, because I think moving forward, you will. Hey, Leo, sun, moon, and rising. This is for you for the week after. All right. 
Whoa. Well, you've got the Queen of Wands reversed, Leo. So unlike you. And I got the King of Cups reversed. Goodness. And then you got the Ten of Cups reversed. Whoa. Does seem as though. It does seem as though this could involve people uh, in your material world, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's people you're collaborating with, uh, whether it's some issues you have with school right now. I sense here that somebody, somebody may be trying to take advantage of you at a time where you are feeling kind of insecure about things. You know, there are people in the business world who sense <laughs> when um, when we are not at our full potential, that sense when we are vulnerable in our, you know, competition, et cetera. And so they strike, you know, when you're at your weak point here. So be aware of that, you know, be aware of that. For example, if competition is very steep for a job that you really want, you got to show your best. you got to shine. you got to rise above your fears and your self-doubts and be courageous. You have to be courageous in the face of competition. Uh, there is definitely Definitely some unhappiness relating to a business situation, I think, or people that you are uh, collaborating with or networking with. Everybody is not on the same page. There's unhappiness. There may be people that are working against each other's interests here. So be aware. Don't be manipulated. Don't be taken advantage of. Don't allow yourself to get stuck because somebody else realizes this is a prime time to take advantage of you. Woo. Hey, Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what's going on in your world. All right. You got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is reversed. You got the Five of Wands reversed. Well, and this time you have the King of Cups upright. Well, this kind of does tell me a story, Virgo, and it does seem to me anyway to be either workplace related or uh, if you're in a competitive situation, sales, marketing, a business that's highly competitive. I feel here that I feel here that for your emo own emotional well-being and stability, you need to walk away from a situation where you don't feel like uh, you're getting the recognition or the um, compensation that you deserve for your efforts. So, I mean, in a sense, this could be where, you know, your products just aren't making it and matching the competition and you're tired of struggling and fighting or it's wearing you down and you know, you're emotionally balanced and grounded enough to realize when it's time to call something quits. So in other words, if you have to abandon something or come up with a new goal or idea because things just aren't working out for you, it's time to move on. And that goes for the workplace too. If you're in a situation in a job where you feel you're being taken advantage of, that people don't appreciate all the work that you have been doing, you're not getting the promotions or bonuses you feel you deserve, Instead of fighting, maybe it's time to let it go for your own emotional balance because fighting seems to not be working out that well and it's time to maybe move on to something that will be more, you know, harmonious for you and make you feel less stressed. Good luck with that. I think we're on Libra. Hi, Libra. Sun, moon, and rising.
All right. Got the Knight of Wands reversed. Got the Queen of Swords upright. Wow, it's all people. We got the King of Wands reversed. Hmm. Well, let's not behave too recklessly during this week ahead, Librans. Uh, the King of Wands reversed here and that Knight of Wands reversed kind of concerns me. There could be some reckless behavior. There could be just... It's possible, too, that some of this recklessness may not be involving um, action, per se, but maybe inaction. Maybe you miss an opportunity because you aren't paying attention, because you're kind of fluffing things off. Or maybe you miss making an important decision you needed to make, and it can cost you dearly. This is a time to really think things through, be practical, be pragmatic in your approach to things, be logical, be analytical. Don't just react to things, think things through as you go through this week ahead. So in other words, you're upset about a decision or a move at work, don't just uh, necessarily quit on the fly or speak out on the fly, really think about the situation before you respond. And if uh, investments aren't paying off, hey, maybe it's just something temporary. Seek advice before you make any major moves you might regret later. Ooh, geesh, Scorpio, we are on you. Sun, moon, and rising. Ooh, you've got that Ten of Cups reversed. First card. Page of Swords is upright. Yikes. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, upright. Hmm. Well, Scorpions. If you feel like you are being left out in some way, you've been left off a team you feel you should have been assigned a part in, a role to play, if you feel as though financially you're bereft right now, uh, and you feel, I really feel this is involving a workplace or a community of some sort here. And, you know, you need to communicate. You need to communicate effectively. And also, I wonder here if there's some, not, not there may be some office politics situation going on here that I get the feeling you are not involved in but it's affecting you and it's making you feel really down. And there are people that are not getting along around you. It's possible here you could play the role of peacemaker or diplomat and try to bring people together and try to get yourself, you know, in, you know, instead of being in the gossip angle and the drama of the office politics, to be the person who can, you know, try to get people to talk to one another, to dialogue, and to listen to one another once more. It seems to me too here that like I said, maybe you feel you are not being heard by, you know, the people you work for or with. And it's time to make sure that your voice is being heard and that you are feeling a sense of community and involvement in, you know, the situation. Okay, hey Sagittarians, you are up, sun, moon, and rising.
the High Priestess reversed. You have the star upright. Wow, all major arcana cards. And you have temperance reversed. Wow. Looks to me like your destiny, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes awaits you, but you're just not sure. I feel that you you feel that you're not in a stable position to get there right now. It's as if you just can't focus. It's as if you you're getting a lot of negative speak inside that may be blocking you from moving forward, maybe throwing you off your game. You might not be listening to your higher wisdom at this time and believing, you know, having self-doubts and maybe believing what outside people forces have to say about you rather than trusting your own instincts. I think that success awaits you. You just have to be in the proper frame of mind and mindset for it. You have to be ready. And right now there's a lot of imbalance, especially on the emotional, uh, spiritual side of things. You're just very tense and stressed. And I feel here it's partially because you may be influenced by some negative self-talk. It's time to change that. It's time to get a more hopeful outlook because things are more positive than you may realize right now. Good luck with that, Sagittarians. Hey, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for you for the week ahead. You are my moon sign. All right. Got the Queen of Pentacles, she's reversed. Two of Swords is also reversed. Ten of Pentacles is upright. I think a lot of you Capricornians may be thinking ahead, planning for your future, thinking about you know, retirement, not that you're ready to retire per se, but, you know, maybe about putting money away for, you know, those golden years. Uh, it seems as though you're ready to, you, you want to make a move, but there's a lot of uncertainty right now. And financially, you know, we're all kind of stuck right now with the economy the way it is, especially if you're in the U.S. with inflation, you know, still kind of a problem and maybe not so much inflation as it is the high costs of consumer products right now and services and it's just taking a big bite out of our incomes. So it's hard to make those moves to plan for financial security, but I think you need to focus on that, even if it's not so much for retirement, but to make sure you have enough to make ends meet from month to month and also some set aside for emergency situations. Now, I really think that's going to be a lot of your focus for the week ahead and maybe what investments might serve you well if you are in a position to, you know, invest some money. So good luck with that. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for you for the week ahead. <clears throat> ah. Got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. 
It's got the Page of Swords reversed. Wow, you got the Five of Pentacles reversed. That's at least a little silver lining in this cloud here, a little. Um, I feel like maybe there's 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 been some financial turbulence. There may have been some uh, there may have been some uh, inability to secure funding for things that you had hoped for. Maybe a long term vision project or goal you had. Uh, you wanted to invest some money in your business for uh, renovation, whatever the case may be. Maybe building projects, etc., or for a new product line, and it's just been stuck. It's been stuck, and it seems as though you can't, you can't seem to get people to buy into this. Either you've been taking the wrong approach, or um, you're not communicating in an effective manner that makes people confident in wanting to help you out here. And but I do feel that a recovery of sorts may happen, or that you may get some limited funding for whatever it is you're trying to accomplish this week. Maybe, again, it's just a loan to bail you out during some kind of uh, bad financial downturn that you're in right now if you're not, you know, running a business. It could be something like that as well. But I think you will get something, but it really won't be everything you had hoped for. Uh, just try to do your best at communicating the need and the fact that you are good for the money or the loan, you know, that you will, you know, you will pay it back. You will be able to do that. It's really imperative that you communicate more effectively, whoops, about this. Good luck with that, Aquarians. Woo. There have been some tough readings this time around, I think. Some okay ones, but... Some rather tough stuff going on. All right, Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. This is for you for the week ahead. That's in a way not surprising to me. And seeing the communication thing and things kind of falling through, then Mercury's going retrograde soon. Let's not forget. And it's no April Fool's joke that it's happening on April Fool's Day. All right, Pisces. Let's see if we can end on a positive note with you. Well, you start off with the Empress, upright. Nice. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles upright. Nice. And you've got the Four of Cups reversed. Not bad. Depending on things. You know, either your creativity, your ingenuity, or your productivity, you know, the, the amount of work that you're able to do is really going to possibly uh, provide you with an opportunity for growth here or advancement. The Knight of Pentacles moves slowly but surely forward. And I feel here some new opportunity for growth or advancement may be offered to you. Possibly a promotion, possibly a raise in pay, possibly an elevation of responsibility. Maybe they re maybe people you work for now realize you are ready for new challenges in your in your career, and they're willing to give them to you because they like what they see here. So remain open. Uh, it's up to you to decide if this is the right time for you to take this on. But it all looks very, very positive. And really, the ball is in your court. So you're the one who's going to have to decide if the time is right for you to take this step forward. Good luck with that, Pisces. Well, we're done. So I want to thank everybody for joining me today and remind you about all our upcoming programming. Today, later, will be our live show from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask us questions and we'll throw the cards and see what we get for you. 
on uh, Wednesday. Let's not forget, it's Mr. O's Goth Tarot. You can find out about the shadow side of your life and get some advice there. And that evening, he will also release a night prayer. So stay tuned for that on Wednesdays. Goth Tarot is at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Thursdays, we'll have our other live show up and coming from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can get any of your questions answered. Come join us on Thursdays. It's a little less crowded on Thursdays if you want to get in for a reading. And on Fridays is Mr. O's Emotional Exchanges. Find out about love, relationships in your life for the week ahead at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And finally, on Saturdays, happy hour! <laughs> happy hour will be here. It'll be at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we'll give you a single card positive message from Spirit. No questions asked. We just want to make you happy. Come join us and get a positive message from us to get you through your week ahead. That's it, everybody. I hope you have a prosperous week going forward. Let's gear up for Mercury Retrograde. It's coming. <laughs> and I will see you the day before the retrograde on Easter Sunday. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Bye.